Hey guys, and welcome back to Greg Concept vs. Tower in the new house. Pretty crazy. Um, this is my second time filming this because the first time I hopped in the event before I started any towers, I'm like, damn, I should check if this is actually working or not. It was not working. Um, so that's fun. Please don't crash. Okay. Um, hey guys, um, I didn't want to cut this next part out, but, um, because it shows some of the event, but it's sort of not as true anymore. I think I found a way to sort of prevent the whole issues I was having. So, um, ignore the whole, oh, this is one of the last Greg constant things. Yeah, so this will probably be one of, if not the last Greg constant episode for a while, like just living in a new house you can see it's a lot smaller um for, compared to my last bedroom <laughs> but it's just the sound travels a lot quicker in this house and every other time i've tried to film it's just lots of background noise so i found the perfect opportunity like most are still asleep or you know still or, and the rest are gone out to breakfast so when they get back it'll probably be noisier and i'll have to work around that but I mean look but this is pretty much for, like the last opportunity I do have to record um I am by the way this I will, what I, I'll repeat what I said earlier is that this place is really cool like it's definitely not what I was expecting but um yeah I just like I definitely don't have the time to really just film when no one's around I'd have to find some kind of plug-in that just cuts out back all background noise without affecting my audio so we'll see if that I can find something like that. But yeah, just all the opportunities I'd have to record and everyone's gone. Like, say like next week, you know, well, during school time, I'm doing work anyway, because I didn't get into university because I submitted too late. So I have to wait until July now. But in the meantime, I'm going to be working. So I just don't really have the time to film. Um, so yeah, kind of sad about that. I definitely don't plan on giving up on this series I will try it still try and find a way to make it work you know but yeah I could film really late at night but then I'd have to be even more quiet than I'm being now and I already feel like I'm being really quiet <laughs> and also I just don't think I'm willing to sacrifice my sleep schedule all right I finally found the tower I've been looking for wrathful ornaments this is medium so it should be nice and easy and I just realized my graphics quality is really low automatic no thanks okay what's in here this is like Super Mario 64 I have to enter paintings and shit alright this is a very interesting design I have to admit Oh yeah, and I'm finally on my brother's computer. I'm on a new computer, so... Yay. I, I don't remember. I was definitely like... I think it was during Icy Blizzards I said about switching computers. Like, that long ago. <laughs> like, almost a year ago now. <laughs> and I finally did it. Oh yeah, and how long have I said I wanted to play Mario Galaxy 4? I finally got around to playing it. I just beat it yesterday. Well, beat it. As in, like, beat it with Mario. Now, anyone who knows how to 100% Mario Galaxy knows you need to beat everything with Luigi. And then, once you do that, then you've got one more star left, which is probably the worst star in the whole game. Because it's, like, just so boring and lazy. And a really sad way to end off an amazing game. But yeah, it, it, replaying it, it wasn't everything I hoped it would be, but it was still very, like, oh cool I made it back it was replaying Mario Galaxy it wasn't everything I'd hoped it'd be but to be fair it is a game that I've played like eight times and beaten eight times like it does get old after a while so I think it's time for me to move on to Super Mario Galaxy 2 <laughs> or even replay Odyssey because Odyssey would still be super fresh oh these platforms are so cool but yeah, look, I don't really want to give up on this series. I didn't even get to experience any of the zone things that I wanted to experience so badly. Oops. Not sure. <laughs> I did wrong. Um, 
you know, or even the sub realms, like, I've been looking forward to finally trying out Forgotten Ridge for so long, and Garden of Ishol, or however you, or however you pronounce it, looks insane. So, I don't know. I don't really get what flip means. Oh, <laughs> never mind. So, yeah, look, I'll find, like, it could be, like, a six-month hiatus, maybe, or I don't know. But if I do find any opportunity at all, record. Maybe I stay home from work or something. I will record. I don't know if part 35 will be able to be soul crushing. But I did basically plan that if... Because part 35, I'm not going to be able to do Tower of um, Tower of Confusion. Because I want to do them in order. So cows, if I'd still keep playing, would probably come sometime between part 35 and part 45. Um, how do I move this? Yeah. I think the next easiest thing for me to do would be Tower of Extreme Hell. So, if I do end up getting around to actually getting a chance to record part 35, maybe I find some background noise suppressor or something, then part 35 would be Tower of Extreme Hell instead of Tower of Confusion. Anyway, time to check out whatever the hell this is. Actually, is this? No. Okay. Ah, cool. Thank you. This is a really cool idea, I love it. But yeah, this is like, this is sick. It's like got a lot of, oh. Buddy, oh, yeah. Oh, it's like a lot, it's really cool, like. Am I missing something? Or if I just leave now? Oh, cool. But yeah, I don't know, there's something about it. It feels really full. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh my god, this is stressful. Oh my god. Oh hey, the conveyors are cool. I'm in a bit of a hurry to finish this before my parents get back. But look, overall, this, like, less privacy, more background noise change has been amazing for me. Like... I know most people are like, you like having less privacy, but like, I feel like it's brought us all together so much. And where we lived before, we just never, like, I've already spent more time with my family this year in just these, like, month and a half, like, than I did the whole of last year, you know? Like, it's crazy. My brothers and I have started watching Dragon Ball Z. I watched Dragon Ball Z with my, um, not older, but my middle brother. I'll say middle. And now, um, because I'm the oldest of the three brothers, um, and now my youngest brother is sort of, like, a bit older, and we're like, why don't we rewatch Dragon Ball, because me and my middle brother watched it ages ago. So we're like, okay, let's watch it, with, but it will include our youngest brother this time, so that's more time the three of us have spent this year than probably the last five years, <laughs> seriously, like... <laughs> But yeah, just being in a smaller house, it's just kind of like... I actually went like about a whole month without my computer and it was really good. You know, like, I, I, was, I was worried like how am I ever like going to live in the real world moving away from my computer and stuff. But honestly, it's, it's starting to feel like the opposite way around. Like, how did I live so long, live my life so long, you know, just constantly on my computer not spending time with people, you know. Oh, what the... That's cool. Yeah, this car driving thing. Whoa, no way they combine these two parts. That's so cool. Oh my god, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, there is. I missed this one. <laughs> There's a lot more than I realized. But yeah, this is such a cool idea. There we go. Yeah, so I started going to a new gym. I've already got that whole thing sorted out and I started seeing a new personal trainer. And this guy is pushing me. He's like, a lot. And it's different, it's very unique to what I normally do at the gym, but I think it pays off a lot more. Like I never really like tried to reach failure in my muscles before in the gym. Like 
I'd push myself, but I would never like actually reach failure and stuff. Which is like, you know, your muscles giving out on your, your last few reps. But now that I'm doing it, like I feel like I am actually becoming a lot stronger than I anticipated. So yeah, but it is also pushing myself like that is helping me realize I have a few muscle imbalances. The right side of my body is a lot stronger than the left side. <laughs> like genuinely, what the hell am I supposed to do there? Instead of repeating that path, why don't I just try and follow what this says? Yeah, because this is new. Okay. Because there's star blocks. Yeah. Alright, cool. Probably should have listened. I just thought I'd already done that before. Oh my god. Wait, how? Oh, wait. No, this button's down here. Yeah, let's go. Wait, what did that unlock? Oh, yeah, cool. Another painting done. Well, damn, where do I go now? I don't remember there being any other paintings. Oh. Oh, the gift opened. Oh! All of those things feed into the circle. <gasps> the final challenge. Oh, this is red. I remember writing in the description, you know, like, of the first video, I was like, I'll beat some soul crushes if I could be bothered. I never really expected to, like, beat something harder than my hardest level, you know, like, beat Thanos Tower. Beat Thanos Tower. Beat something harder than beating Unnerf Thanos Tower. And, you know, I ended up beating Icy Blizzards. I ended up beating Terrifying Beauty, you know. I beat the new difficulty chart, like, it's a lot more. Okay, I'm glad it's forgiving. This design is sick, by the way. That's so cool. This tower feels like it has so much in it without it feeling, like, overly messy. Like, it just feels so much more full than other towers. Be prepared to shoot all of the falling buttons with this contraption after pressing this button. Oh, my bad, G. Sounds pretty cool. Oh, stop moving. Well, it's fun to play something a bit easier to warm myself up into it. But I'm definitely looking forward to trying some harder gameplay again. I think not beating cows has a lot of potential to make an interesting comeback. It'll be very satisfying to beat it, because I think Cows is probably the only tower I've actually given up on. Actually, no. The only other time I gave up on a tower was Tower of Nonsensical Platforms, but I just did never upload it that part. I might up edit it and upload it. Maybe. We'll see. But I do have that video saved. Oh, I see, so I launched this into down. Oh my god, I'm surprised I made that, wow. I swear these car parts are like my favourite thing, that's such a cool idea. This tower is filled with really good ideas. This is, this is what I missed about playing Jatoa, you know, like... Also, I also found out most people call it Jato instead of Jatoa, but I don't know, Jato makes more sense, but... I thought I was gonna have to jump like that, like ignore this platform, like try and do something like. <laughs> nah, I can't, can't. Two Greg cons. Oh my god, this is sweet. Oh. Thank you. No, that was an awesome tower. Beat any Christmas event tower by Gamator. Nice, let's go. I forgot to mention as well. Uh, oops, that, that side, that guy. He watches. <laughs> That's my new background. <laughs> I don't. I didn't choose that. It just came with the place. So <laughs> he watches me sleep. But anyway, I don't know. He's pretty cute. Um. Yeah. So is this? Oh, I just found the tower of speed. Wait. So what's the next thing I need to be? Show me the thingy. Tower. Steeple of crazy maniac cabin. This sounds like Halloween. 
Keep away from snowy faces. Meet in dark places. Oh my god, what is going off the racket? Oh, okay, I thought I crashed. Or well, my ping just died. Jump off to start your mission. Two. Aww. That's a lot of names. Whoops, okay. A cutscene? Oh, why is this so cool? Oh, it's still falling? Okay. Oh, plants vs zombies roof? What the hell? Oh my god, don't run me over, please. That's so cool. I'm my like Santa entering this place. This is sick. This design is amazing. This color scheme, though. The colors look crisp. Holy shit. I did upload a Geometry Dash video as I'm recording this. My most recent video is um, Hi by Crazy Man 50 or Carmel. I found it a gifted mythic egg. Nice. But I think I'm probably just going to give up on Geometry Dash as a whole. Especially in this house. Like, I can't film for long periods of time. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I find the style of editing funny, but I feel like it doesn't reflect me as a person <laughs> anymore. Ow. Like, I don't know, I feel conflicted sometimes. I feel like I like to be a generally mature person, but my sense of humor can also be really immature at times. I don't know, it's weird. I, I, guess, I guess I shouldn't try and box myself into like, small, like, you know, that I can be a more than just a two-dimensional person. Oh yeah, my favorite thing to do now since moving. I used to go to Subway all the time, but now it's going to like this burger place that does low-carb buns. I need to stop hitting that. And also getting burgers without sauce is such like the weirdest thing ever. Cause I'm, it's weird eating like, I still good, it, but it's just like weird eating a burger without sauce, you know? I'm not used to the way, like, the lack, like, the, like, it doesn't have that same texture. Plants vs. Zombies 3 came out on a um, Apple. I'm like, hmm. I haven't played it yet. I downloaded it, like, two weeks ago, and I've yet to play it. I just, like, keep putting it off because I have a feeling it's going to really suck. I'm going to be disappointed. But I shouldn't, like, jump to conclusions like that. But I don't know how you top Plants vs. Zombies 1 and 2, like, even the second game is really good. Like it, the Plants vs. Zombies 3 just doesn't look like it introduces anything like seriously new or changes things up that much. Oh my god, Markiplier. Hello everybody. Oh, I'm being cooked alive. Bye. Oh. You know, I actually used to know that guy. Before he started playing Jatoa, I knew that guy. Like, I forgot what we met him, but... I remember playing like City Builder with him and stuff. I don't know how I missed that. <gasps> Did we just unplug the sink? Let's go. <laughs> I love it, it's so creative, this tower. Or steeple, my bad. Why is it so quiet in here? Okay, it just didn't load. I'm like, what the hell? I'm like the Halloween event ended already. Oh, it won't be? Awesome. I recognize these drums. The the default metal or rock kit in FL FPC. Does that make me a nerd? <laughs> but yeah, this design is just insane. Like Oh! <gasps> you said it wouldn't be important for later. Yeah, I checked out the ring select in the recording that didn't make it, and, um, this, all, like, some of the towers are all rusty, and it make, that noise sounds so familiar. Oh, it's from Kirby. Um, but yeah, all the rust stuff makes sense now. Oh, my bad, G. I was actually genuinely scared to look up in case it like kills me or something. Oh, shift lock, thank you. Oh my god, I almost hit the one it said not for me to hit. Oh! 
No, my god. Please don't kill me. Hello. Thank you. Oh! Prepare to destroy bullets from both sides. What? Ow. Okay. Ah, this is stressful. Don't miss, please. <laughs> I feel like I can't see past this things. Oh. <laughs> okay. FNAF door shut. It's so dark. Oh, an underwater section. Okay, interesting. I don't have... I feel like I never see underwater sections in Jatoa now that I think about it. I wonder if I have like limited air or something. Hopefully not. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my god. This is insane. This is definitely like one of the best event towers I think I've ever played. Like just the design, aesthetics, creativity. That's very memorable. It feels like not what I would usually see in a Jatoa tower. Also, my character just gave up on swimming. He just wants to somehow move. Oh, cool. Oh, I forgot those do that. Alright. Now push this. Oh, Minecraft? I love roller coasters. Give me a chance to check this out. Oh my god, that's insane. That's ridiculous. That's so cool. Oh, no, not this song. Let's open the door, what's inside? Hello? I don't even have my volume turned up for that. I don't know why they scared the ever looking shit out of me. Oh, I fell into the garbage pile. Just the industrial theme of this is just insane. It's unlike anything I've ever seen before. I think there's a um, another tower. Tower of Descent into Exile or something. Is it or Tower of Cruel Punishment? There's another tower with an insane design like this that I've seen before, like this industrial sort of vibe. But yeah, it's just such a cool theme. Jatoa Tower, like just the lighting and everything is just insane, like from a design perspective, this is probably one of the best towers I think I've ever played <laughs> in like general, in Roblox I might take that back though if I can't figure out what the hell okay I don't think that was how I was supposed to do it but you know what, Wait, we made it in the end If I reach out, I can grab the yeah, app. Cool. Easy peasy. Oh, the rubbish is gone. What's down there? Oh my god. But yeah, again, just the industrial theme is insane. Oh god. <laughs> this is scary. I half expected that TV to turn on and be like, Hello, do you want to play a game? Can't go through there. Can't go through here. Can go through here. Asteroid belt hub. We're going to space now. I'm so scared for some reason. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. Oh, I just have to tap, I don't have to move. Alright. 
This is sick. Oh, I can rest my other arm. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I can't rest my other arm. Oh. This thing again. Can I still jump? Ah, oh, never mind. Not really. But... Oh, my bad, G. Am I just really bad at this? This is not what I expect to be doing today. I mean, this event is pretty... What the... Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wrong way. <laughs> Gentlemen, ladies. <laughs> this is so cool. Uh-oh. Oh my god. This song can you hear that noise. That's sick. Oh my god, what? Not really sure what I'm doing here. <laughs> yeah, how long is this tunnel? <laughs> One last big bang. Let's rumble. Bam! 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 They weren't kidding. Big bang. This is a. This isn't like a big bang, but this is a lot of bangs, you know. I feel like a really fast version of this would be really fun. I was kidding. I thought I messed that up. Oh, I think that's a GG. The wreath is speaking to me. It wasn't real. <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't think that was realistic, my guy. He knows how to speak in emojis. Oh, I can move. Oh, I was about to say it. Fire in the hole. Well, damn. In loving memory of, does that mean? Does that mean that dark pigeon died? Exploding cat. Okay, I should stop stalling. That was. That was one of the most solid towers I think I've ever played in Detoa, I'm not even going to lie, that was insane. Alright, well, I see park parkour I've been platforming up there, I know the last tower is down here somewhere. But I'm not sure afterwards, like, I'm surely they've got to unlock something in the event, right? Hey guys, I'm just going to cut this one off here so I can get a Greg Constant video out sooner, because it has been a very long time, and I don't want to upload an hour long video again. I feel like I let these videos get too long. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Sorry about the big delay. Um, I've just away from my computer for like a month and a half. And now that I'm back, I can finally edit this. Probably the world's most delayed winter event video. Um, things should return to normal now. Hopefully every Saturday and Sunday. Not so every Saturday and Sunday. Every Saturday or Sunday I can upload a great constant video again. I also apologize about the soft-spokenness in this video. I think I've become more used to, like, people being able to, my family members being able to hear me while recording now. So next video, I should be able to be more confident and speak louder. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed, and um, good morning. What?